she's right. I am in the optimal fat burning zone. But this is where the misconception occurs. Because I can walk outside or even sit on the sofa doing fuck all and still burn fat. But it doesn't mean I'll lose it. To understand this, your body has two primary energy sources it uses to function. And it sits on a seesaw because on one end you have fats, because fundamentally fat is stored energy for later use. Then on the other end you have carbohydrates or specifically glucose. Now most of the time you'll be burning fat and the intensity of your activities determines what source of fuel your body uses. If you're in low intensity exercises like an incline walk or doing simply fuck all, your body will break down fat to get its energy. However, when intensity slowly increases, your body transitions from more fats to glucose because it's more readily available and it's your body's primary source of energy. And that's because fat takes longer to break down to get usable energy. But what determines if you lose weight or not is if you're in a calorie deficit. You're consuming less energy than your body needs to maintain its weight and it has to get that energy to function from fucking somewhere to resort to your body fat stores. And you do that for a consistent period of time, you'll eventually shed pounds. So if you're consuming too many calories, it doesn't matter if you're fucking burning fat all day, you need a calorie deficit.